new Franco-German main battle tank, being developed under the Main Ground Combat System, or MGCS initiative, is a collaborative project between France and Germany aimed at replacing their existing tanks, the Leopard II and the Leclerc, by around 2035 or 2040. This initiative aims to create a cross-platform combat system, emphasizing modularity, advanced technology, and interoperability, addressing future battlefield requirements through a system-of-systems approach. In a recent report, the Main Ground Combat System Project has progressed with the formation of the MGCS project company, GmbH in Cologne, Germany, involving KNDS, Rheinmetall, and Thales. It's in Phase 1A, aiming for a prototype by 2030, with service entry planned for 2040. What will the new Franco-Germany main battle tank look like? Research suggests the main ground combat system tank will feature a modular design with an identical chassis that can be equipped with different modules for various capability requirements. This flexibility allows for specialized versions, such as electronic warfare platforms, air defense systems, drone or loitering munition launchers, directed energy weapons, alongside traditional derivatives like combat engineer, armored recovery, and bridge layers. The tank's appearance is likely to blend elements from the Leopard 2 and Leclerc with a tracked chassis and a turret housing a large 130mm main gun, offering superior kinetic energy and penetrating power compared to the current 120mm guns. There's also mention of a potential 140mm gun, as seen in concepts like the Leopard 2 ARC-3, though 130mm is the primary focus. The design may incorporate stealth features, such as sloped armor or radar-absorbing materials, and will likely have additional sensors and communication equipment for its network capabilities. The use of a Leclerc turret, which is autoloader-equipped and lighter, suggests a more angular, modern aesthetic, potentially reducing the overall weight for better mobility. Weight and mobility. The evidence leans toward a target weight of around 50 to 60 tons, with some reports suggesting less than 50 tons for enhanced agility. However, detailed analysis indicates a combination of a modified Leopard 2A7 hull with a Leclerc turret, which is about six tons lighter than the Leopard 2's turret aiming to enable bridge traversal for lighter variants. This discrepancy highlights ongoing design considerations, with the final weight likely depending on the balance between protection, firepower, and mobility. Crew and Automation The tank will likely have a crew of three or four, with automation reducing workload. Concepts like the Leopard 2A or C3 feature an uncrewed turret, while others like the KF-51 Panther retain a crewed turret. This suggests the main ground combat system may include both crewed and uncrewed options, enhancing flexibility on the battlefield and integrating AI for targeting and decision-making. The main ground combat system tank is expected to incorporate advanced protection systems, including an enhanced multifunctional self-protection system developed by Hensoldt and KNDS Deutschland for active defense against drones and missiles. It will be highly digital and networked, enabling seamless communication with other platforms, including uncrewed ground and aerial vehicles. The tank will work alongside multi-copter drones for reconnaissance and battlefield networking. Additional features include secondary armaments, such as a built-in anti-tank guided missile launcher and a remote weapon station with a 30 mm cannon for air defense particularly against drones, as seen in the Leopard 2 ARC-3 variants like the KF-51 Panther, also feature integrated missile or drone launchers, suggesting similar capabilities for the main ground combat system. So, the new Franco-German main battle tank, part of the main ground combat system, is shaping up to be a highly advanced, modular system with a 130mm or 140mm main gun, advanced protection systems, and integration with uncrewed vehicles. Its weight is likely around 50 to 60 tons, with ongoing efforts to balance mobility and combat effectiveness. Since the main ground combat system is still in development, its final form may evolve based on technological advancements and military needs. 
However, it's clear that this tank will prioritize modularity, firepower, and cutting-edge technology to meet the demands of future warfare. The Leclerc and Leopard 2 are two of the most advanced main battle tanks in the world. They were developed by France and Germany, respectively, during the Cold War era. While both were designed to counter Soviet armored forces, they reflect different design philosophies and strengths. The Leclerc's autoloader offers a faster rate of fire, while the Leopard 2's manual loader provides flexibility in ammunition handling. The Leopard 2, a 6L55 gun, outperforms the Leclerc's in raw penetration power. But the Leclerc's 52 caliber gun remains highly effective. The Leopard 2 boasts thicker, more traditional armor, especially in later models, while the Leclerc's modular design is more adaptable. The Leclerc's lower profile gives it a stealth advantage, but the Leopard 2's armor is generally considered more durable. The Leclerc is faster and more agile due to its lighter weight and higher power-to-weight ratio, while the Leopard 2 offers solid mobility for its size, but is slightly less nimble. The Leclerc's integrated battlefield management and automation give it an edge in networked warfare and speed of engagement. The Leopard 2's technology is equally advanced but has evolved through upgrades rather than initial design focus. Both tanks are exceptional, but their strengths differ. The Leclerc excels in speed, agility, and automation with its autoloader, advanced FCS, and battlefield management system. Its modular armor ensures adaptability. The Leopard 2 stands out for protection and firepower, with thicker armor and, in later variants, a more powerful L55 gun. Its combat-proven design benefits from extensive upgrades.